Hello again everyone, Dr. Dan Bachman here, and I guess I'm on a rant series lately because today, today I'm going to tell you about something else I don't like. And the thing I don't like today is dynamic stretching. So why, you might ask, why? Dynamic stretching? How is that bad? No, it's not the thing, it's the term. So here's why I don't like the term dynamic stretching. Because people are already confusing a stretch, like a static stretch, with a warm-up. What is dynamic stretching? It's really a warm-up. Come on, let's be honest. A warm-up is wonderful and in fact it's the single best way to prevent injury in play and boost performance. But people already think that, that pre-play pre stretching is part of a warm-up and it is not. It is a flexibility tool by itself. Warm-up is an entirely different thing. If you need to stretch, do that after play. That's a great time to stretch, but you can really stretch anytime. But a warm-up needs to happen before a play in order for you to get the effect of that thing. So why do we call it dynamic stretching when I'm already having to tell everyone over and over, no, stretching is not the not part of a warm-up, so don't confuse them with dynamic stretching. Let's just call it a warm-up. A warm-up, its purpose is to take you from cold to peak output in nice safe steps that all of your parts can handle along the way. That way, when you jump into sport full force, your parts are familiar with that thing. They can do that thing safely. They can do it efficiently. Now. Um, a good warm-up only has to take 10 minutes and it needs to start low intensity, low complexity and finish high intensity, high complexity at peak output. So I always say you should be, you should be out of breath by the end of a warm-up. You can build your own warm-up, it's not complicated. Mix and match movements you're about to do in your sport. So if you're going to go for a run, try a walk first. Five minute walk and then the last five minutes of your 10 minute warm up, make it a mix of high knees, butt kickers, shuttle run, karaoke, back pedal. If you're out of breath at the end, you've done a big mix of movements, you're ready to go, you're ready to go for your run, but it can be a different one every time. There's no magic recipe. So in the future, let's all agree not to say dynamic stretching before play because patients are already confused. Let's just stick with something that makes sense, a warm up. We are warming up muscles after all. We're refamiliarizing them with the movements they're about to do before they do it so they can do it in a safer way. So again, second rant over and I hope that made sense to y'all and uh, stay tuned for more of my insane ramblings in the future. Until next time, I will see y'all inside.